we're at the Fabian Garcia Vineyard uh, near um, New Mexico State University in Las Cruces, New Mexico. The purpose of this project is to demonstrate the use of low power electricity for managing weeds in a vineyard. So what you're going to see here are some treatments we have set up for managing weeds. We're testing two different screens that are charged with electricity and testing those against herbicide and a plastic weed barrier for weed control. So far the screens seem to be working great. We have two different types of screens as I mentioned. Um, the difference in the screens is the opening size in the screens where weeds can come through. And what happens is weeds will come up and they might get through the screen initially, but once they touch the screen, then they'll die. So we're seeing very good weed control with these screens compared to the control plots and even to the herbicide plots, which now have an, an abundance of weeds in them. You can see it's doing an excellent job of weed control. We've got weeds growing all around it, including um, some perennial grasses, some annual forbs growing up through here. And there are very, very few weeds going through the system. There's a tiny one here that managed to grow through without touching the screen. It will soon contact that screen and die. There are a few weeds that have managed to come through right next to the vine, where the screen isn't close enough to the vine. But there are so few weeds that they're not really considered problematic compared to what you see in the rest of the area here. So the general concept of how these screens will work is that the, it takes a weed to complete the electrical circuit. So we have a solar panel, and then solar panel generates the electricity. The electricity can flow to, through a wire to the screens, and then it needs a connection of a plant to go from the screen to the ground, and then it flows through the ground back to a ground post. So while I say these systems are always on, a better description would be they have the potential to always be on, but there's actually no electricity flowing until weeds come up and touch the screen. When those weeds touch the screen, the circuit is complete, the electricity has nowhere to flow except through the weeds, and the process of the electricity flowing through the weeds kills them, and it essentially prevents weed growth. The way this is set up now, the system is totally safe. It's running at a current or at a power level that is safe for humans. Um, even if you touch these screens, and I have, you get a little bit of a shock, but it's nothing that can be dangerous. In terms of how this might affect animals or below ground life, for example, that's something we're still looking into. One of our experiments coming up later this summer will be to see how safe this system is for the soil microbial community. So a lot of people ask about fire danger in these systems, and that's a great question. I would not recommend using this type of electrical weed control to try to get rid of a large patch of weeds that's already there. But because we're using it essentially as a pre-emergent technique, there's really no fire danger. You never accumulate enough biomass that you could lead to a fire because very small plants will grow up, touch the screen, and then die. And they quickly dry out and just desiccate, they're gone. So the next phase of this research is trying to determine how big of a screen a single solar power, a solar panel will be able to power. We may not need the screens to be four feet wide. So the biggest challenge in weed management is often the weeds that grow between plants within the row. So that's mainly what we're focusing on here. We could limit the width of these screens down to only a foot wide perhaps, and then all the weeds between the rows can still be managed by tillage or other aspects. So really what we want to test next is just running long strips of the screen down the row and just managing that very narrow section of weeds.